cut a healthy stem from previous year's growth, wrap it in wet newspaper and seal it in a plastic bag while you carry it to your home. Cut stem into 6 to 8 inch long pencil thick cuttings. Remove flowers and bottom leaves. You can leave a few leaves at the top. Cut them in half. Take a small pot with drainage holes. Take some potting soil in the pot and mix some river sand in it to make the soil quick water draining. Standing water in the soil will rot the cutting. Water the soil thoroughly so that the soil becomes damp at all the places. Keep the pot in shade for about half an hour to drain excess water. Next step is to apply rooting hormone on the cutting to speed up roots. I use aloe vera gel as a natural rooting hormone. If you do not use a rooting hormone, even then some cuttings may root. Scrap the bark at the lower end of the cutting lightly and apply rooting hormone. Make a hole in the soil and insert the cutting about 2 inch deep. Do not push. You can plant more than one cuttings in the same pot so that a few may root. Enclose the pot in a plastic bag to create high humidity. Place the bag in shade at a warm place. You can place the bag indoors if outside temperature is lower than 20 degrees Celsius. Open the bag every week and add a few drops of water to the soil. Close the bag again. Cuttings will root in a few weeks depending on temperature and new leaves will grow. Slightly tuck the cutting. If it is resistive, it means roots have started to grow. Otherwise, no roots have grown yet. Continue in the bag for more time. You may see some roots coming out of the bottom holes of the pot. When two, three sets of leaves have grown, you can open the bag and expose the cuttings in morning sun for two weeks.